Hello and welcome to the D2L training workshop. Today I'm going to be covering the announcements area within a D2L online course. As it was mentioned earlier, you do need to pass your orientation class and quiz in order to access your content. Let's just assume that you've already taken that class and passed the quiz and you can access your classes that you're enrolled in. You'll see each class as a different tile on your main screen. So for today's purpose, I'm going to open up our Microsoft Word Community Group class. The first area you'll be seeing is the announcements area. Professors use this much like a Facebook feed to update their class and their students with the newest information. They may post different due dates that are coming up or changes to the syllabus or the schedule. So you'll want to be sure that you're checking in with the announcements area every time you log into your class. For this training class, I've updated some contact information as well as a short little welcome message. You'll notice that when I move my mouse over these blue area with text that these become a clickable item. Sometimes professors will put links outside of the D2L platform or they'll even put attachments. You'll notice that this one came up as an attachment in the bottom, and so you'll want to click it. This is just a quick, short welcome message. One. Welcome to the course. <laughs> Good job. All right, so that's my son and I welcoming you to the course. Professors might use little quick videos where they're actually explaining how to do something within your class or they're giving you the lesson itself. So you want to check any of these areas that do show up as a clickable item. One other area with the announcements page is the updates. You might see reminders that you have things you need to do or changes, like I said, to the syllabus, updates in scheduled meetings, maybe a date or a time has changed. The other area here is the calendar portion, and they might show you due dates that are approaching or dates where you need to log into a certain lecture or something along those lines. So be sure to check the calendar. For this one, I have no items to display, but you might see dates, things like that. So make sure that you're opening up these arrows to show things scheduled, just to give you a feel for what's on this page. 